to witness uh, this and uh, that takes place. Uh, even though the uh, uh, the world uh, itself has had struggles um, about who they think um, should take on the status of um, the, the human nation, the people of this, of this nation are here to basically consider that this is the United States is there for but just to reprise what you were saying, uh, the Zulus do have a new king, and this is well achieved. Thousands of Zulus in but there are some members of the royal family who have their reservations, and uh, some of them have actually been to court to try to stop his coronation. In fact, this morning, just before hostilities were to get underway, the one that was the application of the concrete by the Zulu cut system united with a ceremony to start. It was basically... Hello from me, John Bennett, Nottingham Forest, take on Winland, Everton. We wanted more out of the game, in terms of performances, they've been pretty good. We didn't want early trickles from the period, but I think we deserve more, but it's a move All the build-up, we are reporters at the ground, and my sports world team, and get ready for the biggest fight of the year. Must win. No, I like the pressure. It's been tough. Just get the job done. Instinct. Stay focused. Get the job done, and uh, God willing, we're victorious. We're live in Saudi Arabia to look ahead to Joshua V. Houston, all after the BBC. Thank you for listening. Good night. BBC News, I'm John Shay. President Volodymyr Zelensky of Ukraine has said a visit by international inspectors could help restore the safety of the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant, which is held by Russian troops. Speaking of the Moscow indicated that it was prepared to be a test case for the International Atomic Energy Agency. We did a survey of the Green Agency. We haven't heard any details about how the possible visit by international inspectors is likely to be organized and timeline, but it seems that Russia has dropped its demand that uh, inspectors should travel through a Russian controlled territory, a proposal that Ukrainians had rejected. Now, Rafael Grossi, the head of the International Atomic Energy Agency, has welcomed the news of a possible visit, and he says he was willing to lead a delegation himself.